My name is Pete Van Ward, and I'm what you might call a black sheep messenger. When a lot of people look back at their high school career, maybe even especially their senior year, they look at it with a lot of fondness. You know, they remember being hopeful and looking forward to their future. But that was not the case for me. My mom was suffering from severe depression after being a POW in World War II. My dad was a busy inventor, engineer, worried about my mom. And then I was the oldest of five kids, and I was supposed to be trying to hold the family together, but you know, none of us really knew what to do with all that was going on in our family, and so I was working really hard to escape it. When I graduated high school, which I barely did, I moved to a small apartment in Bridgeport, rough side of town. After a bad LSD trip, a bad drug deal, and working hard to try and make ends meet through dealing drugs and working at a factory, I finally kind of came to the end of myself, and I thought things were just not going to get any better. And serendipitously, I found myself actually going back to where I typically got drugs at the Long Island Sound. And I was driving out to a peninsula, a lighthouse, and I had this amazing encounter with God. And a lot of things changed about my life. In fact, I met Christ. I felt called to ministry. And, and actually, all the things that I was hoping I would begin to experience in life were going well for me. And one thing didn't change. <laughs> And that was, I still felt like a black sheep. So when I became a pastor, I wanted to do it differently. I wanted to reach people that other people weren't reaching. And so I was the kind of black sheep pastor, I guess you'd say. I had tattoos before that was okay with Christians, certainly not okay for pastors. And I began to gather a group of people um, who identified with the message I was trying to share. And we developed this congregation, if you will, of black sheep messengers. And one of the things that's unique about the whole black sheep movement is that back then, when they actually had sheep and shepherds, the black sheep was a prized possession because of its rare and unique wool. Because I think God actually created the black sheep, their maverick, rebel ways for good. And so that's, that's really in my heart, to create a movement, to create a mission where people feel okay about who they are and, in fact, proud of the message they have to share. And so that's what I want to do with this last season of my life, is I want to create a safe place for black sheep, to call them into mission, to give them a sense of affirmation, to allow them to share their story without shame because that's exactly what the world needs, black sheep messengers. And I'm hoping you'll consider joining me.